Hi, beautiful. You look oh, magnificent. Thank you so, so much for joining me today to watch people do some French bob haircuts on themselves. Ooh, I love a bob. It's something that never goes out of style. It's always cute. It's always adorable, but on the right person. I'm gonna tell you right now, they don't look good on every single head. Obviously it's hair. Do whatever makes you happy and have fun with it. But are people still gonna have opinions? Yeah, and do I have one? Yes. <laughs> and that's what I do for a living is I share my opinion. So if you don't want to fucking hear it, then don't listen. I don't know why I got so angry. I apologize for that. I don't know where that came from. I'm not angry. Just a little sleep deprived. But anyways, um, <sighs> French bobs. They're short, they're cute, and they are very difficult to do on your own hair because you can't see the back of your head and it is a very precise haircut. Even some hairstylists can't do them right. So let's see what you guys can do at home. Make sure to stay to the end of the video to vote for what your favorite look of the day is. I want to know if my favorite looks of each video match up with your favorite looks. I really, really want to know and I'll comment back to as many of you as I possibly can. So I know you guys are like, we've already seen you cut your hair, it went terribly. This time, I'm actually going to look at videos online to help me. Ugh. She's like, I'm going to watch videos and tutorials on how to cut my hair into a bob and then she said she didn't. We're going in blind. It's probably gonna be awful and I'm probably gonna sit here and cry. I want her all gone. I am sick of having hair. I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say it in a very nice way. So if I don't get it right, bash me in the comments below. I don't know, Susie, if you have the face for a bob. I think when, when you have a round face, round faces are beautiful, by the way. Don't get me wrong, obsessed with round faces. It just makes the face look overly round, almost as if it's a very large circle. I don't recommend this for you one bit, but we're gonna see if you can do something that shocks me. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into piggy tails and I'm just gonna cut it really, really short. No, 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 no. That sounds actually horrible and don't do that. What you don't wanna do when you cut a bob is put it into ponytails and cut it because then the back will go like this and the bob is supposed to go in a straight line all around your head. That's not great. Do not tell me she's actually just going to go and cut those pigtails off. That's going to result in the worst looking haircut we've all ever seen. And I have a feeling that's what's going to happen. Like this video if you think she's going to cut off the ponytails. And you should all like the video because she's going to do it. She's going to do it. So like the video. Uh, I'm doing it. No. Are he no? Why? First of all, those scissors are not sharp. Second of all, your hair is dry. Third of all, cut above the elastic, people. The elastic is there to trap the hair before it falls to the ground so you don't have a whole mess to clean up. It's just easier that way, I promise. Just cut above the elastic. <laughs> Please. This is gonna look bad. <laughs> oh my god, this is so not straight. Oh god, it just never stops. Oh my god. I cannot. This is gonna be so dramatic and really horrible because not only did she just cut off that ponytail really short, but it's in a position where it's going to give her layers. Layers that she doesn't want in a bob because the hair is being elevated from the back and from the sides. It's just gonna be a disaster. You'll see in a second. I think I'm doing this like way too short. I can tell you are cutting those two totally different lengths. What's going on? I'm freaking out for you. <laughs> let me off the set, please. Please let me off today. I can't do this today, please. Please let me off. Big reveal, let's see how it looks. <laughs> Ew. What is that? Oh, fuck. No, it is wobbly and choppy and all sorts of heights all around the head. This is looking absolutely crazy and tragic. I didn't think I was going through anything, but like after doing this, I think maybe I am. Um, not to diagnose you, but it's likely you might be going through something. But listen, it's fine. There's never a time where I'm not going through something. So we're in the same boat and we can paddle along the river together. I totally blacked out this entire time and forgot to like tell you guys how to do this correctly. But honestly, doing a bob on your own head, I don't know if I should even tell you how to do it because it's kind of not possible. I mean, it is, but it isn't. 
All right, I'll tell you. I do feel like at this point, she's taking the right approach. Next time, I would do four quadrants. Look up what four quadrants are or look right here. It's right here. I put a picture for you. And then you're going to take horizontal sections all up the head. Once you get to here, join it with the front and so on. Then you need a three-way mirror. I don't give a fuck. If you don't have one, you're gonna need to get one if you wanna do this yourself at home. Boom, cut the back of your head. Cut the back of your head in a precise straight line. And not to mention, get scissors that actually cut. Lastly, cut your hair extremely wet. Not dry and not damp. Wet, wet. This is getting more and more stressful as I keep going. <laughs> The back of your head looks crazy. I don't know who needs to tell you this, but it's gonna be me. Girl, what are we doing? It is like all over the place. Disastrous and a mess. I'm gonna start crying again. Put the scissors down. Oh no. What have you done? It's really bad. Oh no, I don't mean to be laughing. I laugh when I'm nervous. You guys know this about me. <laughs> I think she's crying and I feel bad because I agree. I would also be crying at this point. We have a lot of work to do to save this haircut. I mean, she gotta even this out somehow. I just don't know how. <sighs> it's fine. At this moment, guys, when your haircut goes this bad, just you gotta breathe. <sighs> Get into a meditative headspace and just and then panic, and then finish the haircut. Huh? Well, actually, <laughs> it's coming together somehow. Okay, yeah, we can wet the hair now that we're halfway through the haircut. And that's fine. That makes sense. <laughs> Couldn't have done it at first. We have to wait for halfway f through. I honestly don't know what to do. I didn't mean to cut it this short. Oh, the side profile is even worse. The way that the hair goes. <laughs> like short as fuck in the front and then long. Mm -mm -mm. Everything that we don't want all wrapped in one is right there. Plus she has super thick hair, so she needs some blending, some layering, some thinning, some all of the things mixed together to make this all come together and be a beautiful, luxurious looking bob. I'm back. <laughs> so sad. This is so embarrassing. I don't know how I'm gonna show my face. I'm just gonna get in the shower. Oh, babe, don't cry. It's just hair. It grows back. You're gonna be fine. I mean, I've had 8,000 horrible haircuts in my life. And you know what we do? We put some extensions in, we do some hair color, we do a little wig moment, we do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and it all comes together. There's no hair that can't be saved. Doesn't matter, you're still beautiful. I don't know what I'm gonna do, I'm honestly. <laughs> oh my god, this poor girl. I feel so bad. She's like really going through it. Listen, if your hair means this much to you, you should probably go to a professional because this breaks my heart every time somebody cries about their hair. Like, I feel for you. I know how much hair means to people and it's really important that you feel good about yourself and feel confident. There's nothing like trying a new look and then it just completely backfires on you. It is not fun, trust me. We're back with Hannah, say hi Hannah. Hi. And she's gonna try fix my hair. Oh God, Hannah, don't do it. <laughs> this is a trap. If you're not a hairstylist either, this is a trap. Oh my God, you're cutting already? Oh yeah, sorry. Should I have like warned you? No, that was fine. That was just like, <laughs> Snip, snip. All right, her friend Hannah is going around the head. She is doing exactly what I said before, which is sectioning the hair out horizontally and cutting across. You know, Hannah's not a hairstylist either, which um, concerns me that it's gonna get worse, not better. We need texture in there, Hannah. The straight across haircut is not gonna look right. The texture needs to be built into the inside of the cut so that the top of the haircut looks one length where we have a lot of texture underneath, which gives you more movement. And with hair this thick, you need to get rid of some of the bulk so it sits nicely in the back and doesn't poof out at the bottom. But we're not gonna do that, I'm sure. And we're gonna see um, what we get. Anything is better than what we just saw, right? Right. We should go like 
this. Is that really what you want? Because that's a big commit. A male camel was called a bull. Oh, I just saw some elevation, which means layering, which is nice. Hannah, you're doing a little layering, which is gonna help the cut. We're on the right track. You see where she took that section and elevated it and cut? That's gonna give you a little bit more layering so that the bottom of the hair isn't so much of a big ass mound of hair. It's gonna be more smooth. The other good thing is that the hair is wet. It's almost like Hannah knows what she's doing, but she also has the comb in her mouth while she's cutting hair, so I know that she doesn't know what she's doing. It's okay, we're gonna do something, right? Are you doing it shorter than that? I just think like half an inch shorter. What? <laughs> <laughs> and it's somehow getting shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. I literally just decided right now that I want a fringe. Do f not. Oh my god, she's gonna cut a bang. That's really like not a fringe. She's with me, but I think, I think. <laughs> I was thinking shorter. What are you doing? What is going on? What kind of a fringe was that? Was it supposed to be straight across? Was it a curtain bang? Why would we do that? If you want a curtain bang, pull the hair to the opposite side of the head and cut at a diagonal and do the same thing on both sides and then blend it in with the rest of the bob. But also a bob with curtain bangs, not my favorite look. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chimney. Oh my God, and the bangs are getting shorter. This is an absolute tragic disaster. Like this is one of the worst DIY haircuts I've ever seen. Congratulations. Oh my god. Where are we gonna end this? I'm so happy she's laughing instead of crying right now because I am crying inside. I'm trying to hold back my tears because I'm horrified. I actually like it. I swear. No, it's really cool. It's so cute. Like, this is like such a cute. You're just saying that to make me feel good. I know. I actually swear, like, really? What do I, you guys think? Do you like I think I do. I like it better this way, definitely. Yeah. Than it was before. I'm just true. in shock. I think the fringe balanced out the fact that you wanted it so short. I don't hate it. Oh, 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 so that's where it ends. Subscribe if you think that was not cute. Um, holy sh**. That was the worst bob haircut I've ever seen. Anywhere we go from here today is gonna be up. At least I hope. Sorry, I'm a mean person. Sometimes I just feel like if you don't want me to judge you though, don't, don't post to the internet, you know? Whatever. Uh, the bangs, they're gonna be a no for me. It gave me Johnny Depp and Willy Wonka. I don't like it. I think it looks a little kooky. But you are just such a beautiful girl. And luckily, this video was posted five years ago. So her hair has grown out and I am not traumatizing her by sh** on her haircut because she has changed it since then and she doesn't have it anymore. So because of that, I'm gonna say it. That haircut looks bad. Don't ever do that again. This is very dead. The least that we're gonna do today is cut off this part. It's not working for me anymore. Oh, this one might be also dramatic and scary. I just wasn't ready for all this today. That's a good idea though, to cut off all that hair because that hair is not only green gray, but it is also damaged and ready to come off of your head right now. My ADHD is going crazy. Do you see me looking? everywhere while I film. That's because I literally can't listen to myself talk sometimes. I have been growing out a buzz cut since 2019. That was really like the start of my spiritual and healing journey. So I always looked at my hair growth as like, wow, this is how long I've been on my journey. But now I feel like I have like been elevated to a different journey. <laughs> yeah, this is a different journey. And the journey is gonna be a healthy, beautiful, gorgeous bob instead of dead, long, green, gray hair. And I'm excited for you, I really am. I'm gonna put this in ponytails. Once I do this, like I literally can't go back. Oh no, we're putting me through more shit today. Oh no, please. Why do you guys do this to me? We did just see this and we're going to see the same thing happen again. She's going to cut her hair in the ponytail below the elastic and it's gonna look like shit. So let's watch that happen and all unfold before our eyes. I don't want to do it. Am I really going to do this? Guys, wait, I'm actually... Oh God, I'm nervous. You don't have to do it, but you did do it. I would like to know why. If you're watching, leave a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Oh my God. Oh my God. She is cutting above the elastic though, which is very exciting for me. I haven't seen that in a long time. Oh my God. <gasps> my hair is thick as fuck. Well. Will it ever end? <gasps> <gasps> she just cut off that much hair. That's a whole lot of sh hair. And her hair looks a lot healthier. I'm actually quite intrigued to see the results of this. But also, I know it's not gonna look good because cutting a bob like this doesn't work. Oh my god, it looks so cute already. The amount of hair in her hands right now is insane. <laughs> 
I'm scared. Yo. <laughs> That is so much hair, but thank God she got rid of it. It was doing nothing for her. It was actually bringing the vibes down when that was on her head. Wait, I look so pretty like this. Obviously it's uneven. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not usually that dramatic. That is the most uneven the bob I've ever seen in my life. I didn't know how else to say it, so I just came out and said it. But like a bob? Wait. <laughs> I love it that she's like feeling herself. She's like. Meanwhile, the back of her head <laughs> looks like this. Oh, wait until she sees the back. The front is fine. The front's acceptable. The back, diabolical, horrible, trash, throw it away. I don't ever want to see it again. I'm at a loss for words. I don't even know. This needs a lot of work. Damn, I really fucked up on this side. <laughs> Low key, I feel like this length is giving triangle. I'm just trying to make the sides match. The back does look like sh Oh my god. I'm so sorry I'm being not very informative today. She's just making each side shorter and shorter and shorter. It was cute down here and now it's getting like really too far up. I feel like bobs look great when they're either at your jawline or in crazy severe cases at the cheekbone. But nothing shorter and nothing middle between those two lengths. It has to be one or the other. Or else it's just accentuating like the middle of your cheek and that just doesn't make sense. But um, the back is about three inches, four inches longer than the front, it's gonna go past her hairline. That's just gonna make the haircut so complicated. Another thing to not do when you cut a bob, you guys, there's actually so many things going on right now that you shouldn't do. Don't pull your hair from where it lives. You want your hair wet, wet. Especially when you have any kind of wave pattern like she does, it's gonna be really important that it's wet, wet. And then you're gonna wanna comb it in the place that it lives. Don't put any tension on it. Cut. So that when it dries, it all lays in the right place. When you pull it, you're putting tension and you're pulling it from where it lives in a different direction where it lives. And then once you pull it from a different direction from where it lives, it's not gonna live there anymore. It's gonna be like, where'd my home go? Okay, so she is texturizing the hair, thinning the hair, if you will. And that's great because she needed to do that. And if you don't do that, when you do a bob like this, it's probably gonna be poofy at the end and not gonna look right. I don't know when she evened out the haircut, but something happened where it ended up being more even. Still not very even. Like you can see it dips down from the front to the back. You don't really want that. You really want a straight line going all the way around your head. If we're being picky, don't love that. But she's looking pretty good and we're gonna see your style our hair next. I cannot believe that this is my hair. I feel so much lighter. I am so happy with it. It's literally not perfect and that is fine. I feel like I can style it in so many different ways. This way is like very cute and chic. I have been feeling very mature lately. I feel so cute. I feel like I look like such a bad bitch. And this is like a new era. Yes! I don't know what shit you did off camera, but something happened and something worked. This looks so good on you, especially from where we came from with that dead hair. The bob is meant for you. The bob is your thing. You look amazing. This is such a vibe. And I'm so happy you just went for it and did it. I went through all the emotions while you did that, and I think so did you. Glad we went through that journey together, but I don't want to ever do it again. That's enough for me. And also, like, I love this hair color on you. Like, I love it just dark. It just looks great. It just looks healthy, vibrant, shiny, gorgeous. We did a horrible job getting to the end result, but the end result looked nice. <laughs> That's that. By the way, so many of you don't follow me on Instagram, which is like kind of crazy because I literally love every single one of you. And the fact that you're just like, you're just not even there. You're not even like on Instagram. Like I'm posting pictures of myself for you and you're not even there. And I miss you and I want you there. And honestly, I want to talk to you. And I mostly talk to people on Instagram because it's just like easiest. So follow me on Instagram, Brad Mondo MIC. It's linked below for you. Oh, and check out Xmono Hair because that's my hair care brand and I'm really proud of it and I put a lot of work into it and please just look at the website. You don't have to buy anything. I want you to like see what I do for a living. I do create the products all for you guys and I want you to, to just 
see them. It's linked below for you. Check out the website, peruse, look around. A lot has changed since I launched it like five years ago. So there's a lot of newness and a lot of you haven't even seen, haven't even seen what I've been working on. Cause I see people asking for products that I've already made. So what's up with that? And we launched in Canada. There's a lot going on. So the first thing you need to do is to dry your hair and style it the way you usually style it. After doing that, part your hair in the middle, even if it's not like super equal, get the two rubber bands and tie your hair. All right. Well, this is a tutorial, which makes me really nervous. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just think if we're not a hairdresser or we don't actually know what we're talking about, maybe just don't make a tutorial because this is what people follow and then they end up with some crazy shit going on. Because she's going to do the same exact method we just saw two different times come out horribly, but we're going to see how this all plays out. This will be the gauge on how short you want your hair to be. And then make sure walang may iwan sa likod. A better way to do this ponytail thing if you really want to do it is do like six ponytails or eight ponytails around your head. Brush them all down from where the hair lives, okay? So the hair is right here, brush it down and put the elastic in and do it in even, even equal sections all around the head vertically and you will get a much better result than just doing two massive sections on either side of the head. I'll just tie this one too. There. Now, because she's directing the hair kind of right here instead of everybody else where they did it kind of like over the ears or like everybody did it in a weird place. She is going to get the shortest hair behind her ear, longer hair in the back and longer hair in the front. And that's bad. We want it to be bobbin, babe. We want it to be rounded and beautiful and luxurious. This is not gonna give us that look. Okay, so this is it. What in the fuck are those scissors? Those are like gigantic arts and crafts scissors. And I hate to see it. Just hair scissors will do. I am going to just cut one inch below the rubber band because you don't want the rubber band to move around. This is basically our gauge on the length we want to achieve. Cut above it! Sorry, Laureen, I am yelling at you. Cut above it though. Change scissors in between. I'm gonna like scratch my neck off today. Uh. Miss Manny Quinn, not today, babe. No, you cannot come on set today. I'm done after last time, after your shit last time, where you confessed to a murder. I'm done. I'm done. I am done. Get away. Move away. Bye. Stop. Nope. Mm, ah. What? I'm not telling them that. No, that's it for today. No, I'm serious. You're done. I'm gonna fix it. You see like ends na hindi pantay, we're gonna fix it later. And I'm confident. <sighs> I'm so happy I'm short hair again. Now you see, it's not even at all. No, not even a little bit. Get it? Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Dual meaning there, you know. Hitting you with that dual meaning. Anything that's super long, not obvious, just cut it first. I can't really see like what's at the back still, but. You can't see anything going on back there. I know the back does not look good. So when you're tilting your head and you're doing different things like that, it causes the hair to be cut, not from where it lives, okay? And it causes you to have layering and all these things that you don't want in a bob haircut. You wanna keep your head perfectly even. What am I trying to say? Like. Level. You want to keep your head level the entire time you are cutting a bob. It's very important, actually. Now I'm just like seeing if there are any extras like this. The whole back is extra. What do you mean? It's <laughs> the whole back. I just want to make sure not even yung length nito and no other side. At least we are trying to make it even by pulling two strands in the front and checking the lengths. That is also a great thing to do whenever you're doing any kind of haircut. You can also take pieces from the sides of the head and pull them out and run your fingers down the hair. If both fingers slip off the hair at the same time, that means that both sides are even. It's getting a tiny bit better, but also still pretty bad. I just want to make it a little bit softer. So I am going to do this. Step one is to part your hair first. So you see the bottom area. It's also a nice way to see if you've left like any long strand, but so far so good. And get a part and just do this. 
Your favorite thing to do, everybody. Point cutting time. Everybody loves point cut at home. That is one thing that people do love. It's always a boop boop and it always comes out weird. <laughs> cut into the hair at a diagonal if you want to take out a lot of bulk. Otherwise, cut very, very much vertical into the hair if you want to take out very little hair. My hair is short again, I'm so happy. It took me maybe around 30 minutes. It feels really nice to cut your own hair short. And if you keep doing this, imagine how much money you'll save. I mean, listen, does she look adorable? Yes. Is the haircut even? Hell no. And would I like those two little purple pieces to either be more purple or to be gone? I would love that. But otherwise, you look beautiful, Lorene. I love your vibe. You are so positive and so cool. And and the hair looks dope. And I'm just being picky. <laughs> and thank you for making that tutorial that nobody should follow. It's enough of the DIY bobs. It's too spooky. I feel like I was also just desensitized during that video because the last two videos just like were really horrifying and that one just wasn't as horrifying luckily. So you got away with a lot, Lorraine. I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, so let me know what is your favorite look from today's video. Which one of these three was your favorite? My favorite was number two. Emily's hair was so freaking Cute. I loved it. Well, I'm traumatized. I need some recovery time after that. Um, I will see you next week, but I'm gonna have to take the next week to relax and recover and get back into a meditative state after those videos. <laughs> Make sure you guys check out my hair care brand, Xmodo Hair at xmodohair.com and also at Sally Beauty. We have products for every and all hair type. We have products that decrease frizz. We have products that enhance wave. We have products that make your hair feel and look denser and fuller than ever before. For those of you suffering from hair loss, we have everything you could possibly want. And that is all available right down below. And that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.